WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. we got a mixed bag out there. The Dow is trading up 30 points while the S&P is off 9. NASDAQ's down 42. Russell is flat. Semis are off five points out there. Gold is not flat. It's down 43 bucks and change. Trading out at 1886. Silver's off a buck and two pennies. Trading at 2259. Light three crude is up a buck 26. 7713 is the print there. Natural gas down eight cents. And a 30 year treasury printed out 129.29. That's off nearly two full points. Let's go take a look at a market update chart or nine panel chart out here we can see the es mini in the upper left hand side the es mini needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the d point pattern short of that its next price target which it hit yesterday it was 42.15 above that is 4300 if we take a look at spot volatility it is still well below its 50-day exponential moving average the 50 day is 2103 and currently printed out at 1856 that is a bullish signal for the s p 500 if we take a look at the nq the nq Q yesterday formed a TD nine count top. Now, if price closes above 12, 949.75, that pattern will get negated. That'll tell us about a strong momentum move to the upside with the next price target being 13,325. U.S. dollar index still pretty much consolidating with inside that daily profile. It would um, give you a, uh, a breakout signal if price closed above 102.23 of course we would need two consecutive closes above that to suggest a change in trend goldilocks taken in the shorts it is trading below the bottom of its daily profile its next profile level of sport is 1868.60 that's the bottom of the weekly well silver is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile that is at 22.96 price right now at 22.59 light sweet crude Lace Recruit is trading out at uh, 76 and 76.86 or so. It has closed below the bottom of its daily profile for two consecutive sessions out there. If it remains below 77.34 at day's end, odds would favor a move back to the 72.49 level, the bottom of its weekly profile. And natural gas, that's something we'll take a look at during the uh, show out here. There is no bottom signal at all in natural gas. It does have a a to B equals CD to the downside. The price projection there is 216. We don't really pay attention to whether it gets to the 216 level or 214 or 218. What we look for is a bullish reversal candle to confirm a potential by the D point pattern. As far as the 30 year treasury, Bob, as I mentioned, back about two points. It should have support at 129.04. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z show, but if you have to start your Friday, please have a fantastic one. And then we'll look to see you again on the Take care.